if, if Arsenal fans, if Arsenal fans can give uh, can give Arteta four years, well, I, Chelsea can also give Poch uh, four years to you know see what we do. But uh, that aside, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, what's up, man? How's been your week? Your week? Well, we can't wait uh, to come back to the EPL. No, it's been good. Um, it, you know, it's been uh, uh, two weeks now, uh, about two, you know, the, the international break. So it's good to be back, you know, with the Premier League coming up this weekend. Yeah, no, so, you can't, you can't, you can't wait, man. Having just lost their last game before the break. <laughs> Obviously, everything Chelsea now is itching to come back and get the three points. Hopefully, that that is that is our mission. You have to get that three points, and uh, uh, Poch knows he has to get that three points. I hear you, I hear you, man. Yeah, we start. Oh, Transit TV, welcome to Radio Football Show. I'm here with my man Wados. To look at Chelsea, we know EPL has been on break for the past two weeks. Chelsea comes back to. To the EPL this weekend at home to Beaumont after losing 1 0 to Nottingham Forest. It seems like uh, quite an age ago now. Chelsea will be looking forward to this one and trying to get back to winning ways as quickly as possible because they are uh, quickly sliding behind in the, in the league table. They have four points after four games winning one, drawing one, lose one. It's not been drawing to it's not been looking good for Chelsea so far and they looking around the social media there's people some people in insanely have been calling for watch sack a lot calling Caicedo already after four games the flop of the season people berating the uh, porch for playing Benchiwa as a winger some also complain about him not making positive changes when Chelsea is looking for goals leaving all the defenders in the pitch you know it's been from one complaint to another some of people are also not happy that uh, mukaro modric yeah we know he hasn't done well in chelsea but they say he deserves to you know to be given more time on the team to get to help the team get goals because he's an uh, exciting player potentially you know so he's just so much to talk about now with chelsea and uh with me to to react to all this this evening is my man Bados. Die hard Chelsea fan. This one he can must give his heart for Chelsea. He's joining us today in Transit TV to look at all things Chelsea. Chelsea returning back to the EPL this weekend against Beaumont at the Stamford Bridge. But those of you are uh, welcome to the show. Uh, thank you, Reggie, for uh, for having me. And uh, yeah, it's been uh, it's been a, a couple of days and a day, you know, because of the international break. So it's good to be back, and uh, this weekend we're looking forward to to the games. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you on that. Oh, where do we start from on this one? So you, you heard what I said. A lot of people have had a lot of complaints against Poch. Well, how do you react to these uh, these criticisms? Some are already calling for his sack. Some are saying uh, he needs to stick to his original philosophy of trying to play attacking football, which strangely, I know Chelsea have not won their games, but when you look at the stats going forward, Chelsea is among its ranking top in crosses, chances created, passes into final third. It just seems that after four games, Chelsea has just scored four goals, considered four goals with zero goals difference, which means something is wrong at the attacking third. How do you react to this performance so far? And how how should you know Porch try to fix this problem for Chelsea? Well, uh, good question. Uh, any Chelsea fan? Uh, I don't believe Chelsea fans are calling. Uh, let me say this: I don't believe real Chelsea fans are calling for for his sack because that's ridiculous. He's only been there for one month. He's not going to do magic. Um, from what we've seen, like in the last episode, I told you. A lot of changes have he has done a lot of things, which you know, if you are a real Chelsea fan, <laughs> you will you will understand that he the the progress is there and it will take a little time. It's not it's not gonna do magic, it's not gonna be four weeks uh magic. The only thing, like you said, the stats are there, 
the only problem is that the points are not showing on the board. But I believe that uh, in the coming weeks, uh, months, those things are going to change based on what he's doing already. Um, for as far as what he's going to do to change all these things, I think he should go back to what he did uh, during the preseason. Exactly. You know, he has to play the 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 four two three one formation that he played during the preseason in the U.S. and he never lost a game, so he has to revert to that. And uh, uh, like you stated earlier, Ben Chilwell shouldn't be playing as a wing uh, as a attacking a forward, yeah. a winger like that. He has to go back to. 4 2 3 1 that he, he was playing during the preseason, which means that he's going to put a lot of forward players in there. You know, with Jackson up front, he could play maybe Stalin, and then uh, he could play maybe, uh, well, he got Palmer already, so Palmer can play as a number 10. And then you have to put in uh, uh, Madek in there too. So you have a lot of attacking players there. But I think the problem is he wants to play Enzo as an attacking midfielder. So in some games, now you you, are, you want to win games. So the best thing for you to do is just to uh, play Enzo and uh, Kaiseido as a deeper midfielder. Deep line midfielder, yeah. Be, yeah, you play both of them, then let these other people go forward and do the job for you. So that's that's what I think you should should change in this weekend. Yeah, many think uh, that one of the reasons as well that he's doing this is because he's trying to protect uh, Thiago Silva in terms of his pace and his age in the EPL, you know, the EPL strikers are a little bit more aggressive. Uh, we, all, we all know his quality as a defender, but I mean, 39 years potentially is not no longer young. So it, it looks like he's using Tagosiva to coach the, the two uh, other center backs playing like, both left and right, you know, alongside him. So his presence on the pitch is needed. And as well, those the the pace of those young defenders as well are needed to protect him in terms whenever you know when he's exposed. But somehow this has not worked. So how do you think, uh, Paul? Should he be go bold and be confident and play Tegosiva alongside one of them, or or find a way to you know factor this in? How do you think he should approach the defensive side of things for for Chelsea? Well, I, I don't think uh, uh, the issue there is Thiago Silva. Even though I don't, you know, he's this. I think this is this will be his last season with Chelsea. There's no doubt about that. But the issue there is not about Thiago Silva. He hasn't done any, he hasn't done any mistake that will warrant people to call for his head. But because we have a lot of players injured, and we have body shit injured, uh, and we have Fofana injured. So we and then we have uh, Chiluba injured. So he his hands are tied. So the only thing he can do, I mean, he can still play without Thiago Silva. He can still play with, uh, he can play De Sassi and play Corwell mm-hmm. together and then mm-hmm. play either ben Cockerell Chiwell. or Ben Chiwell. So it's not about, uh, it's not about uh, uh, Thiago Silva. Anybody saying that, not, he's going to see that games this period. He's, he, there's no doubt Thiago Silva will see that some games. But I think... Uh, he has options there. Play Cowell and uh, the Sassi together and then play Chuo. And then play your back four and then uh, Malo Gusto on the other side. So it's, it's, uh, it's a plan he has to think about. It, removing Thiago Silva, to be honest, wouldn't change anything for Chelsea. It wouldn't. But uh, if he, maybe he, he has that trust. But, but for now, if he on Sunday, if he plays uh, without Thiago Silva, it's not going to change anything. It's not so, about so, so is Poch getting it wrong or he's being stubborn or do you think what do you think he should do? Because earlier on he spoke about him having more attacking uh, attacking players on the pitch and playing Ben Chuel as a as a left back instead of playing as a winger or wing back, which means he has to revert to back four. So do you think he's being stubborn in doing this or he is something that you think he should do? You know, to get in more players in the attacking positions. Well, he's a man under pressure right now. You know, Chelsea fans wants uh, three points, so uh, he has to. Uh, at some point, he has to take that bold decision. He said that you're going to see that uh, Thiago Silva and play this other guy that you know going to play the rest of the season. So I think he's just being stubborn. He's just being stubborn. There's no. He, there's no uh, reason for him not to try other things. 
like I said, you said earlier, the stats are there. Um, if you look at uh, Chelsea played four games, yes. scored five games, five F- goals, four goals, and consider four. four goals, four, uh, and yeah. then considered five. Uh, that, that's not good. Yeah, it's just zero good. They just they no good. They, they, they considered four and scored four, so it's just zero good advantage. There's nothing uh, on the board, yeah. Uh-huh. So that that shows you that our defense is not really up to there, you know. So he has to at some point make mm-hmm. that bold decision. And it, it, it's not going to cost you anything. You yeah, are there. Yeah. You already signed your contract already. They're not going to. Mm. The the owners are not going to fire you tomorrow. So just make that call, and that's all he needs. Yeah, because uh, like I said, it starts for Chelsea. They they have thirty two crosses. You know, into the opponent's box. The last game, he had seventy three percent possession. So going forward. The it looks good, but it's just that the end product is not there. Then the, the at, um, from there, let me ask you. I think one of the problems too you have had is like you talk about defensively, Caicedo has not been you know lived up to expectation. I know he's just four games in, but the kind of quality that he has and what he was doing in, in uh, Brighton is kind of a little bit uh, surprising to a lot of people what he has done so far in Chelsea. He looks to be not to be confident, he looks not to, you know, he's, he's not uh, being himself. I even had uh, one Chelsea fan today talking about he's, he was not deployed as a lone six in Brighton, that playing him in that position kind of uh, probably looks like a new territory for him. So I don't know uh, what you think about Kesodo. What do you think Chelsea in you know, needs to do to help him come up to speed and begin to show what we saw while he was in Brighton? Um, I, I think he has to relax. Football is all about, you know, confidence. enjoying the confidence. You have to relax and enjoy the game. Like I said earlier, because chess is not winning games. If when you win games, you people yeah, confidence. show confidence, and and that's what he has to do. So I think on Sunday, if I'm Poch, I'm gonna go for four two three one, because you need that three points. If you don't win, then you're gonna fall even down below. Because right now. All the, uh, these are two teams that are desperate exactly. for three points. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> uh, Bomo, 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 Bomo have just uh, they have two draws, two points on the board. They lost two and drawn two. You know, so, so and, you and can see have, that they have scored just four goals, consider eight goals. So they mm-hmm. also need the points. Yeah, these are two teams that are desperate for for three points. So you, I can tell you, uh, it's going to be like a dog fight on Sunday. It's going to be very cagey. And the worst thing that can happen to Chelsea is to allow them to score first. If those people score, then Chelsea, they have their job cut out for them. It's going to be very difficult with the home fans and everybody, you know, supporting them. It's going to be, yeah. yeah, it's going to be very difficult. Chelsea cannot, cannot allow any goal from those. You have to score first. Chelsea has to score to open up the game. Other than that, it's going to be difficult for them. Okay, so having watched Jackson, for me personally, I see him as an industrial young man. He works hard. What do you think he needs to do or Poch needs to do for him to help get him, you know, start scoring goals? Because it looks like he does every other thing right, apart from, you know, just getting goals for Chelsea at the moment. Um, uh, On your last show, uh, I think Chima, Chima said it. He has to... He, ha- he, he has to relax. I think he's nervous, like you said. And uh, part of the thing is he wants to get involved in the game. He's not like uh, a kind of striker that wants to that be up there and, the bus, and, yeah. and stay in the bus and wait. So he, he likes to move around, get himself involved. But I think he, he needs to relax and, uh, and wait for the ball. That is why... Uh, Watch has to play the 4-2-3-1, which gives a lot of... Uh, uh, we have a lot of four players so there. Behind him, that yeah. can Behind him that can, uh, 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 that can feed him the ball. If you watch um, Chelsea against Nottingham Forest, right? The problem we had in that game was uh, Stalin was still playing as a, as a, as a winger. winger. When, uh, you know, so it, it, instead of playing more deep into the midfield, so which covers the space that uh, uh, um, Jackson was coming back into, and then Malo Gusto was supposed to be running on that flank, just like Chiwe was doing on the left flank. So because um, 
because I thought Poch was going to change that because Raheem Sterling was going on the on the wings. He was supposed to be, you know, compact a little bit in the middle mm -hmm. to make room for Malo Gusto to go forward. Exactly. That would leave uh, Jackson up there waiting for the ball. You know, it's 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 going to be. It's about you know they will get it. I think uh, because they haven't played together, you know, for uh, for a while. Um, uh, so they will get it. I, I, yeah, I trust yeah. That. Another another criticism uh, Poch has has gotten is you know looking at if you're going uh, cutting your mind back uh, uh, when Porter was there, a lot of Chelsea fans had issues with Porter uh, that you know most of the time when things are going well, he just, his body language doesn't really show somebody that really wants things to go right. Lampard had mm -hmm. the same issue with Chelsea fans as well. He, uh, this time around, it looks like a porch is also, you know, portraying that kind of a uh, body language. He seems to just throw the team out there and, you know, really doesn't show much about trying to change, uh, you know, the course of the Like, this is you're saying, now you're defying here now as a coach, we expect him to to have seen them. And like you said, one or two of those calls, make them boldly and see what the changes they're going to bring into the team. Do you think uh, he needs to, like some, some people have said, be a little bit uh, quicker and bolder in making some changes from the touching news to the to the team. I don't know what you think about those criticism against him. Because no matter what you say, no matter how good the manager is, as long as those results are not coming in, he, he had to always look at the manager and the way he has uh, you know gone about doing his job. I don't know what you how you react to to that. Uh like I said, you're right. Like I said, it's still early. Uh, it's only been uh, what four games. So he's gonna make changes. Trust me, when the fans start getting on your on your nerves, you have to you you're gonna listen by force. So he will make the changes, and uh, um, when they start scoring and getting those points, everything will be all right. For now, yeah, he has to make a bold decision uh, and get the 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 boys going. Yes, our viewers, don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so. Hit the like button and the. Uh... Share the content. And before we go on, I want to ask you, our viewers, what's your position on uh, Porch? What do you think? Uh, some Chelsea fans are already calling for for his sack. Some people are already calling Casado the flop of the season. What is your view, opinion about these uh, positions of some some Chelsea fans? They let us know what you think. And brothers, let me let's end this one. But let me ask you. You have talked about Porch trying to change the the personnel for for this game. If you we are put in this position, what would be your starting eleven going into the game against Beaumont? Oh, good question. <laughs> starting from the starting from the keeper, the defense. Let's get your starting eleven. Um, I mean the the defense will still be the, the same, except uh, uh, if if uh, Thiago Silva, you know, he didn't travel for international break, so he's fit. Mm -hmm. He will start the game. So it will be Thiago Silva and De Sassi. And then, for me, that's what I'm going to play. I, like I said, I will play the 4 2 3 one position. Mm -hmm. Which means you have uh, Malo, Gusto, uh, Malo Gusto on the right. And then mm -hmm. you have De Sassi. You have uh, uh, De Sassi on the right and, the uh, and then uh, Thiago Silva. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you have uh, Kowal or Chiwo. Mm -hmm. But I will go for Chiwo. Because mm -hmm. he has that experience. And then uh, Kowo will sit out a little bit and watch the game. So in the middle, you have uh, Enzo and Kaisedo right there protecting the back four. Mm -hmm. I know that uh, Kaisedo has that pace to you know stop all this uh, counter. Uh, a counter. Because mm -hmm. like you said earlier, Thiago Silva doesn't have that pace right now. So with... Uh, with the uh, Caicedo there, you know, we are sure, uh, sure that he's going to cover up on that side. And then you have the three, which will be, for me, will be Stalin, uh, uh, maybe Palmer, because he, right now he's the only one that can play that number 10 role. And then Madeke and Jackson up front. And that will be uh, my, my, uh, my lineup That's for that game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that, that looks exciting right there. Exactly. Palmer, I think, uh, needs to get some more minutes. He Again, has to. But, 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 you know, but the problem now is uh, Mokada Modric, yes, he has not performed, but he looks like a player that needs minutes. Going with this uh, formation, the 11 that he started with, he's not starting. And 
you know, most of the time in EPL is changes don't come that fast if there are injuries. So how do you handle that young man with regards to confidence and giving him minutes, you know, getting him up to speed with, you know, things? Oh, well, I, I gave you that uh, that 11 because uh, reports we got is that Modric had a little, uh, you know, a little injury. Muscular injury, yeah. uh, Injury uh, uh, again, during the international week, against Italy, uh, uh, against England, or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. you know, so, right now, maybe I don't know how fit he is to play, but uh, if he's fit, I would rather play him before Madeke. Mm -hmm. And then Malika will come in later on. But I, I gave you that that list because I think he is not he's fit not to fit, play yeah. on Sunday, and that's that's what it is. But as far as uh, going forward, he has to play. He has to play. He's a very exciting player, and like I said in the last show, he is one of the players that will unlock all, all the defense all, uh, defenses in the Premier League with his pace and his skill set. Yeah. yeah, so I believe he will come through. Okay, so it sounds like you, you're willing to give Poch uh, time. So how much time do you think Chelsea fans can, not should, can give Poch to start you know, getting these three points on the board before you know, they, they start to turn their head, turn on him? Uh, that's a good question. Man. But if, if, Arsenal fans, if Arsenal fans can give, uh, can give Ateta four years, well, I, Chelsea can also give Poch uh, uh, four years to, you know, see what we do. But uh, that aside, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I think uh, um, it's only been four games. Yeah, it's only been four games. That's a lot of games to be played. We still have like thirty-four games to go. So uh, any Chelsea fan calling for Poch to be fired should be, you know. Uh, should should be I don't I don't want to use a you know a bad word, but it's not the right thing to 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 say in four games. Yeah, he has, I, like I, a, I'm not trying to call you short, but the pro the thing is, yeah, it's it, it, of course it's un, unreasonable to call for his sack right now. But the problem is, he, he, the other teams are not waiting for you to get it together before they put their points their own points on the board. Now Chelsea is four points behind the city is already on 12. Arsenal is on 10 and two, three other, alongside three other teams. So if you don't win tomorrow and these teams win, you several yeah after five games you're already almost 10 points behind what's going on, on you know at the top of top end of the of the table. So that's mm -hmm. why it's a little bit tricky for him right now. And this game, no matter how people understand if you don't put the points on the, the points on the board of course, people are going to turn on you. So mm -hmm. it, 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 we have to also be reasonable because the fans don't, you know, these days the fans don't really have that yeah, patience. The patience yeah. so I don't know how much time Poch, Poch needs to, I, I, I think you agree with me, he needs to find a way to start to put those points on the board and, uh, you know, get Chelsea fans, you know, backing the team and uh, supporting them. So uh, for me, that's what I think. But I don't know how he's going to do this. It looks mm -hmm. like it, it, it's, it's looking very tricky for 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 him and for Chelsea right now. And, and I don't think any other any any game would have been better to to start to turn things around other than Bournemouth. Like you said earlier on, Bournemouth is a team struggling. They only have two points after four games. They only have uh, they scored four goals because they eight goals, which means their defense is not strong and they're, they're leaking goals. So if Chelsea can can replicate what they did against uh, what team was that uh, you beat three uh, Luton 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 uh, Luton Town probably they can you know repeat that performance and try to get three points but like I said EPL is very is a very uh, uh, different league before you look you know what is going on teams have run away and you're you're looking relegation in in the face and teams don't respect you you're your Chelsea or your Arsenal or, or Liverpool. Nobody mm. cares. He, he, and on a very good day, you, you lose your three points and the uh, things start to look back. So for me, I, I believe just so what's gonna be your that leads me to your the prediction of the for the match. What do you think is gonna be the result of this game? Um you know, to be honest, it's gonna be a very KG game, like I said earlier, it's gonna be difficult because both teams want the points. So um uh Bowman will try to. I watched their game against Liverpool. So what they do is, they they try to counter. They play, especially they attack more from the left side where mm -hmm. they have 
that their new guy is a Milo Marquez. So they mm. mostly attack from there. So going for so that the Solanke and Bill Solanke, and yes. And Solanke and has a lot of space and, and he's strong as well. He, he, he does. And they're playing at home. So it's going to be very difficult for Chelsea. Uh, but to uh, on paper, anybody you ask will say Chelsea, right? <laughs> yes. but, <laughs> but this is EPL, like you said. You know, nobody's looking at uh, how much is spent during the summer. They just want to play, play football. football yeah. So, if I if I look at the stats, Chelsea have done. Uh, Chelsea got this season. Nicholas Jackson has seven clear chances, and he only took one. One, yeah. one, and that's not good for for the striker. A, a striker uh, that's going to take Chelsea up the you know uh, up there. So he had to start taking them. And if he takes them, then Chelsea can uh, uh, can be sure that uh, we have somebody uh, that can take us over there, over the top. But as far as Sunday is concerned, I think it, Chelsea we have an upper hand because last season uh, we 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 did a double on them, mm -hmm. beat them two zero at the Bridge, and then uh, beat them three one at away. Mm -hmm. So and. Uh, yeah, I think Chelsea will win probably like a 1-0. And I don't think there's going to be a lot of goals in this one. Yeah. Okay, okay. I hear you. I hear you. We'll see how that one goes. So mm -hmm. which uh, before we go, what which player do you think will, will be key for Chelsea in this game, considering how Beaumont play? Oh, well, it has to be Stalin. It has to be Stalin. He's been doing it. He has the confidence. He's been scoring. So... He has to be standing. He has to do what he did against West Ham and against uh, uh, it was Luton. Another. He has mm -hmm. to drive the ball. When uh, when he is driving the ball, um, Justin should expect uh, open to, to op open it. So that's why he, he has to. The Stalin has to has to be the guy there to open all those. Uh, because uh, Bomo, they play very compact football, like they very compact. They yeah, they field, sit so. deep, yeah. Yeah, so they sit deep, and yeah, Stalin has to do that. Okay, man, and thank you for coming to the show. Avia, don't forget uh, and to let us know if you were to be Pochettino, what's going to be your starting 11? Bados has given us his 11. It's, it's saying that Poch should go back to the 4 2 3 1. Uh, a formation that he played in the during the during the uh, preseason game that got Chelsea wins and uh, goals during the preseason. So he's saying that Paul should go back to and like if so many other Chelsea fans have said as well that he should revert to the, the, the structure that he was he already was working on before the season started. All of a sudden he went back, he went to three at the back and paint the two as a winger and sometimes an attacking midfielder from the left. So let, let us know what you think about this one. What's going to be your own uh, starting eleven going to this game? And let us know as well your prediction for this game. And uh, we're happy to have you, Bados. Thank you for stopping by one more time. For, you know, you know, taking time from your busy schedule to come on the show. We will see at the other end of the weekend to see how the result pans, and I will come back here and uh, and uh, review the game and uh, have fun as usual. Thank you for coming, my bro. And uh, yeah, peace, yeah. Man. Yeah, before you go too, I like to remind viewers that, uh, especially Arsenal fans, right, that they're not going to make tough for. I said that earlier uh, in the last <laughs> show, so I'm still banking on that. I, I know I, you don't like that I, as an I, Arsenal fan. I, are, are I know you, you still, don't like that. Are you still feel that Chelsea is going to win the league, right? Hundred percent. Okay, bro. Uh, I like that. I like the confidence. <laughs> we'll see how that pans. And the next four games, we'll come back and review and see if that Chelsea is on the table. Then you can tell us that. One more time. Thanks, bro, and uh, have a good one. Thank you. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.